All right, guys, finally got this bike sold. It's coming today, pick it up. Put what I sold it in the description and we'll find another project bike. But it's definitely looking good, running good. Been riding up and down the road a couple times. And we got some power. And I'd love to keep her, but I got enough stuff going on in my life. So I got one, two, three, four bikes to care for, so. All right guys, I sold the Kawasaki KFX 400 last night and came and picked it up about eight o'clock PM. Uh, definitely happy with it. Um, he kept buying my bike over here. Um, I told him it wasn't for sale, but he was definitely interested, but uh, he said he rode dirt bikes. He was looking for something with four wheels. Uh, I don't know if, from what I gathered, I didn't know if it was for him or for maybe his girlfriend, wife, or whatever. Um, he said he was at the dealer trying to look at some uh, new Yamahas and the dealer didn't have anything in stock. And I'm sure those are all sitting on a loading dock somewhere not getting shipped out but as soon as they come in i'm sure they're sold instantly so there's definitely a new bike shortage in arizona so as far as going to buy a new bike you're out of luck there so i think that's kind of reflecting the prices these days on these bikes that are used um it's kind of wishy-washy you know i think he was kind of new to this industry as far as buying a quad he wasn't too sure he seemed kind of nervous he did come with his father uh he was probably in his mid-30s but um you know i reassured him that the bike is sound it's not you know gonna blow up in a week and you know as long as he you know doesn't poke a hole through the case or something but you know as far as the engine goes it was fine there's nothing wrong with it uh his dad did mention that, you know, he had noticed the other bikes in here that are all clean and, you know, well taken care of. And if you guys are selling bikes, you know, make sure what you got in the background is taken care of. And, you know, nobody wants to see a dirty quad that looks all beat up and ratty. And then, you know, trying to get some good money out of a used bike because that's just a turn off to anybody when they see something that's not well taken care of. I mean, I bought this one, I paid $2,500 for that one before COVID. Um, I swear the guy used a Q-tip to clean this thing. This thing was spotless when I went and picked it up. He had it up on a stand and he had other vehicles in the garage. He had a side-by-side -side and like a dirt bike, I think. And it was basically just a, you know, twice a year he took it out. He was the second owner on that. Uh, he took it out to the dunes, so. I definitely got a good score here. I'm sure he's hating himself now because, I mean, he probably could have gotten, you know, 35 plus for it. So the Kawasaki I did post up for 3,500. Um, bought it for 22. The original uh, seller was asking 28. I had to get him down to 22 just because it needed some engine work and some tie rod ends. And, you know, the plastics were, I mean, you saw the video, the plastics weren't great, so. I mean, the plastics weren't a real concern for me. I knew they would clean up somewhat. And then, you know, the decal kit definitely, you know, helped the issue. But I mean, as far as the engine goes, you know, that was, you know, the high dollar ticket with parts and labor, you know, my labor. So, um, but between the Kawasaki I had and the yellow 250 that I flipped, um, that was $2,000 for the month. Um, I would say I'd had maybe four days into it. So, I mean, it was averaging about $500 a week. Um, I mean, if you got the overhead to flip a bike, I would wait till your off season, you know, to go pick them up. You know, right now I'm in Arizona, so it's, it's, it's starting to cool down in the winter time. 
the fall, winter, and spring are our riding seasons. So, you know, right now I kind of jumped into the market, you know, a little late in the game. You know, that Suzuki that I picked up was the deal of a lifetime. <clears throat> I don't think I'll ever pick that, you know, kind of a deal up again. Uh, I do, it's gonna be a long time before that happens. But like I said, I picked a Kawasaki up for 22, sold it for 33, um, he, he counted with 32. I bumped him up another 100 bucks. So we sold that for 3300. Um, seems like the average price just online. Well, I mean, like as far as people are spawning and offering stuff up on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, it's right around the 300 or $3,000 range. So, um, I mean, if you can buy them cheap enough, you know, tw you know, 2000 or less, you know, I mean, 22, you're probably okay there. I mean, there wasn't too much to buy parts for this. I mean, it was mostly labor and it went pretty quick. So, I mean, you do it once, you do it twice. I mean, you probably can bang it out in a day and get rid of that bike. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna flip bikes, if you know about dirt bikes, you know, jump in that game too. I know there's money to be made on those. Um, but yeah, definitely watch your seasons. You know, if you're coming into winter, you know, people are more likely to get rid of their bikes because it's just sitting around as opposed to, you know, spring, summer, and fall, you know, in the Midwest or the East Coast. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna look for another bike. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I can find. Um, I did see another Suzuki out there. They were asking three. It uh, didn't have any dirt tires, just had dune tires front and back. So, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what their, you know, their price range is, you know, but like when you look at pictures, like I noticed they had like a spark plug sitting out here on one of the pictures and they kind of, you know, questions it, but then you kind of think to yourself, well, you know, if that spark plug sitting there, that bike probably doesn't run, so you may be able to get it cheap. So um, I'll probably give it a, another week here and hit that person up and see if they're looking to get rid of it and if I can get a good deal on it. Um, if not, I'll just wait, you know, maybe to, you know, summertime again, take some time off doing it and, you know, keep my eyes open and see what I can find out there. But, um, yeah, we'll see what we can find and we'll get another video posted. Um, probably be, uh, starting to ride here soon. It's, it's still a little warm during the day, but it's, it's getting cooler. It's cooler at night. So when the temperatures drop at night, it just means, you know, fall time is right around the corner. So but yeah, stay tuned. We'll get some more videos up.